Yeah. You need to get them tonight. Get them. Piss on them. Piss on them. Words, of, words to live by. <laughs> get them and piss on them. <laughs> hey, it's birthday boy over here. I know. Big 7-6. Sprint car mechanic and driver. I've been around racing my whole life and it's pretty much all I know. We created this channel to share the good and the bad and everything in between. Our crew may not be the most experienced or professional, but we get it done and we have a good time doing it. We'll show you what it's really like. Racing weekly at some of the best tracks in Central Pennsylvania. I'm also going to share some sprint car tutorials, mechanics, and parts, and whatever else I feel like. So like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, boy. Alright, we all fit. <laughs> Here's oh, Fat Chris. Okay. Yeah, the weight loss surgery. He's back. We'll have to do a Cooper introduction later. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh, it's like a true. wedding gown. Well, really, Bill? <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> it looks like a wedding gown. <laughs> We are at the races. Well, she looked really pretty. She did. Good night. And there hundreds of cars for fellow competitors during his five decades of racing. At the time of Kramer's death, URC co-owner John Zimmerman called Kramer was a car company driver. No, and that's URC's a 16. story in history. Well, that's good. The call of URC co-owner Bob Miller reflected that Kramer had a look for this course of including... All the, all the little ones were already taken, so you didn't do that bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, 16, 16, 16. It's good. Go on ahead and... Darn it. Yet. <laughs> I don't know how to handle a tip yet. I watch it, won't work for me. I look like an idiot on video. Oh, nailed it! 94. You're welcome. <laughs> I remember my first time. <laughs> I do too, you were a nervous wreck. Yes, yeah, so I tell him to calm down. He's over here fucking twitching. So are you! <laughs> Speedway. We weren't sure if we were going to race this week, so I want to give you guys the scoop. The car is not really reacting the way it should when Bill makes adjustments, so the original plan was scrap this weekend, rebuild a new car, and we're on vacation most of the week, so it wasn't going to happen. But since the sponsors pay to be on the car for all the races, we really try to make every race no matter what. So alternate plan was put the freshened engine in and see if that helps. So that's where we're at tonight. It's kind of like a throw it at it and see if it works. I'm gonna toss it to Bill so he can tell you the technical details. Well, here's what's been going on. It's been, we've, been, we've been fighting the car and, and, and some things for the last probably a month or so. Uh, like Heather said, we were gonna put another car together. Uh, we'll just touch on that real quick. I don't have another new chassis. I have another used chassis we ran pre previous to this one. And we had it on the table and checked out all good. We had some things fixed on straightened out. But the way things are, I just don't have a new car to put together, not a brand new frame. So with the time situation, we, we I decided, well, I'm going to throw some things at the car, kind of get back to some other things we used to do, change some stuff around the car. And so that's what we did with the car. The, 
hand in hand with that is if you've been following along our speed week videos back then we had some we put our fresh motor in we had a couple little things issues there took it out put it back in for tonight and the, the rest of the year because the rest of the shows here are linking our time trials because there's, there's big shows every week from here on out so maybe a combination we're kind of hoping of some things with the car and maybe the motor too you know maybe you know, the motor's getting kind of getting lapped out so hopefully fresh motor more power sharper runs better seems to change on the car it all kind of works together so that's kind of where we're at we want to be here like i said like i said for for all the fans and all the sponsors and we want to race too so the season's winding down won't be long and the season will be over but um that's what's happening. And then we fly back on Tuesday. And then head back to yeah, I'm going to leave it in. What do you got? What's the name? I'm Lily and this is Blake. Lily and Blake. All the way from Germany. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so you said you guys keep up through the YouTube channel? Yeah, so we keep up with everything on the YouTube channel. Uh, I will tell you, I think my favorite one was probably earlier this year, Susquehanna. Probably remember the oh, yeah. shit show oh, yeah. that they had with the uh, the tires were blowing out. And yes. And Danny were sitting next to each other <laughs> yelling. At us. Yeah. That was by far the best. Video. Everybody loves behind, that video. Nice behind the scene look of like what you guys have to do with the practice jacket. Yeah. A lot, a lot more into the big story than people realize, but that video was like super hit. Yeah. And then they shortened it too, didn't they? Yes. They shortened it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man, I know you're busy. I'll let you yeah. back. So thanks, thanks for taking the time. Yeah. Thanks, Hope you guys had the best time. All right, we'll see you. All right, warm-up server. Not terrible. I felt a little snug getting in, which I, mean, I could feel that, which, which was good. Motor ran good, so we made a little some small changes trying to free up the entry because it kind of hurt my speed the rest of the way through the curve. So a little bit of air pressure, a little bit of weight. That's all we're doing. Uh, top trial is up next, so we're going to go out. We drew a 16th and we're going to go out kind of early, which is good. I think the track's definitely changing, so we're up next to time trials. Is it overall time trials? Time against the whole field, yes. Okay. Tomorrow, there will be a interview with one to three around the Bill. Oh, 
I'm just checking the cooling here. I we got a little issue with this motor with a possible crack somewhere, so we put some stop leak in it. I just wanted to check the uh, cooling. It's pretty cool. Where we have these motors plumbed, you can get air trapped in the back. So I'm just going to crack the uh, leader open on the air oil, water system to try to get any air out. Just double check it. a little bit more. All right, we're top off. No air, no problems there. So I uh, I reset the timing today on the motor when I we had the top end, of, we had the, the mag out, some of the other stuff out. So I uh, long story short, I can change the timing a little bit. It might be. I'm gonna go to the other setting. Put it that way. So it might be some of the cooling and cool. Maybe it'll be a little advanced. All right, time trials over, ended up 13th overall, not too bad. The track definitely was slowing down the longer their time trials went, so going out early was key there. 14 double O was our time. I think quick time was a 13, or yeah, 13 seven, six or seven. Six. Lance that quick time, so. That'll put us uh, in a good spot for the heat race. I'm not exactly sure where we'll start. Probably, probably uh, four, I don't know where we'll start. Probably third or probably fourth in the heat race, be my guess. So, I'll take it. Got to put the show from here and go on to the feature. If I can win the heat, I'll make the redraw for the feature. That's the only way to make it the end of the redraw. But every car you pass is four spots because it's four each. So, we got to go forward from here. All right, Cooper is our new crew member. He's learning. Right now, Dwight's teaching him about the wicker ball. The front one, because we won't make him change the top one. That's a tall guy job. <laughs> what are you doing, Greg Kessel? never has good behavior. All right, we're rolling off third in the first heat. Uh, four heats will take five. Like I said, if I can win the heat, there's no way I can get to the redraw for the feature. So, track's definitely changed a lot. I watched Chris's heat race here. Everybody kind of moved to the bottom side of the track. The rest of the track got real dirty. <laughs> so, <laughs> She's over there nodding. Yes. Yep, yep. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. Some changes. <laughs> Definitely help Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> 
recap the heat race here, eventful heat race. Uh, I take the full blame on that. First lap in one and two, I just just brushed the inside guardrail. I've done it a thousand of times and uh, got to turn three and the tire was flat. Turned me right around in front of the whole back, crashed a whole bunch of cars. I tore a lot of shit up there. Like I said, I clipped that guardrail. Uh, hope everybody's all right. I seen that Terry Matt. Hopefully he ain't hurt. I just made a mistake, but uh, crew got me fixed back up. Uh, we got back out there, ended up uh, running third. So that should put us, I don't know, probably between 10th and 15, somewhere in that range. Um, crew did a good job. I'll thank everybody who jumped in and helped. Appreciate everybody. Uh, Danny was kind of like running the show. Seth. Danny and Seth are down here, so appreciate that. Uh, you know, I guess that's race. I still grew into the red. I'm like, man, I just feel terrible. Like I got He's like, hey, it happens to everybody. It could be the other way around. And that's true. It goes both ways. But, um, anyway, we're going to get ready for the feature. That's next for us. See where we start, and uh, we'll come back with you with that. Hey, you know who jumped right in there? Wasn't even nervous. Cooper. Oh yeah, Cooper. Cooper ran out of the red flag too with a fuel stick and he's <laughs> running around and doing a good job. So. Uh, All right, so we're going to talk about our newest crew member here, Cooper. Cooper is going to learn. He's learning already. He's doing a super good job. Right, Nate? I don't even know his name yet. I'm going to be honest. I refuse to know his name until he shows up for a piece of um, Nate is going to have a talk with HR. Junior, or what I call you earlier today? Call him earlier. He's here with the champ. Earlier, champ. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, he's been learning for the last two weeks. Um, we don't know when Nate might have to ever go out for, you know, another surgery because they can't seem to fix him at the VA. <laughs> so we're like, maybe if Cooper wants to help, you can teach him. We'll see if he, like, catches on. He's doing great. So what all did you learn so far? Air pressure, how to change a tire. Work area is busy. He's got mechanical ability. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I work at a car dealership. Worked there for two years, just last week. Uh, got a lot of mechanical experience from that. Just being around technicians, working a little bit on cars. So. It's awesome. Single. Yeah. Nate always has to throw that in. <laughs> Redhead, blondes, brunettes. What you think? Blondes. Oh. 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 Are you enjoying yourself though? Yes. That's awesome. Tell them the secret about the screwdriver and the Zeus buttons I just taught you. Tell them. Not all the people know that, I bet. That's kind of cool. How they spin, how they yeah, tell them what's at the end of there to get the Zeus buttons in quicker. It's a magnet. Yeah, there's a magnet there to get the Zeus buttons in quicker. Awesome. Yeah, so everybody remember, knows Cooper. There's a magnet in the end of the screwdriver. Oh, yeah, it really looks the like this. Remember that. Like there's yeah. a magnet. When you're in, in a hurry, start pushing that thing on the Zeus button. And Bill will be like, wow, how do you know that? No, Bill will freak out. Bill will freak out. I would give a big shout out to Avery. Uh, Chris is not here tonight, but because Chris is at Avery's graduation, she graduated the Marine Corps. Uh, I'm going to call it basic training this weekend. This weekend. So a big shout out to Avery. We're super proud of you. I look forward to seeing you and uh, keep up the good work.
my seventh, eighth, somewhere in there. Great. Racing with eight. I was right there with the whole pack. I was going to run them guys down. Or it was really good, actually. I maneuvered all through there. Uh, lap car spun out. Nowhere to go. He just spun right in front of me. I literally I had nowhere to go. I mean, I was on the brake. But I couldn't avoid it. So, I hit it pretty hard. Bet the frame. Lost the decay out of the frame. We had a good... Good solid top 10 going for sure. Uh, bad, bad ending. So that's the way it goes. Guys did a good job. Worked hard all night. The car was really good in the feature. I can maneuver around, pass cars. I flip the cars three wide and turn right by So the car was good, but it didn't end good. So we'll get it fixed. Uh, yeah, we'll get it fixed. So bad night all around, I guess. So. That's racing. We'll come back next time. Appreciate everybody out there. Who does a good job. I want to thank all my sponsors. I appreciate them all. Uh, Big Hill Cider Works, Frank Robin Banks Tattoo, Corey's Fine Tennessee, Nash Nate Racing, Rat Caddies, RJ Bargain Outlet, Snowback for the last trick, BG Renovations, Ten Oil, Starry Mechanical. Uh, everybody does a good job. I appreciate y'all sticking with us. We had a good run going. Just frustrated, didn't, didn't end. Oh, All right, Dwight cracked it open. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Bill likes it. Did you get another plate of mac and cheese? I, I'm hungry. It's so good. I gotta eat some more. <laughs>